Hi everybody, it's Miss Ginger. Today is April the 6th. Um, we're going to be going over the global climate this week. I hope that you guys find this lesson uh, fun and entertaining um, and you learn something from it. Um, I did put your vocab words in down below. They're not in any ran they're not in any order. They're in ran random order. So um, no worries, but I'm going to go over two of them today. One of them is weather and one of them is climate. There's also a really big long one in there that I really like to say, bioluminescence. Just sounds so cool, doesn't it? We're going to learn about that word, bioluminescence, on Wednesday. So, but it's a really cool word. And it might even lead to a field trip over the summer. If some of you guys um, think about it and parents might want to get involved in it, that would be something we could talk about later. But um, so anyway, your vocab words are down below. I also put in an activity that's not going to be graded. It's just for fun. It's how to make your own cloud. It was looked really exciting to me, so I thought I would drop that in for you guys to do. Again, it's not a graded assignment. You don't have to turn anything in, but just do the do the activity and have some fun with it. Um, I would like for you guys to do it with your mom and dad. So they can help assist if, if you need their assistance to do it. It's, it looks pretty simple. So. Um, if you do try it, I want you to comment that you you know down below. You can post to me just say, "Hey, Miss Ginger, I tried it, and this is what we found," or you know, whatever. Just let me know how it went for you guys, okay? So, let's see. I did that. I did your vocab. I got your activity, and also um, tomorrow we're going to be talking about pollution and our coastal development. So I dropped in a video today um, from Four Ocean. Four Ocean is a company that's based out of uh, Bali, but we also have a, a headquarters down here in Florida, South Florida. And I know everyone's heard about Four Ocean. These two young men are phenomenal. The job that they're doing to protect our earth by cleaning up our beaches and waterways is just it's off the chain. Um, they're on on TV all the time. You can see their commercial all the time. I've participated in several of their beach cleanups and I'm just amazed at what they're doing. Um, so I put the video in down below just for an educational video about how to help clean up our earth, what we can do to make some new changes. Um, so that's down below. And uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to start on some notes that I took from NASA. I stole them straight from NASA. I escaped. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm just kidding. It's it's legal to take things from NASA. Anything's legal when you get it offline, right? Okay, anyway, I'm just messing around, you guys. So, um, climate change. What is climate change? Climate change describes a change in the average conditions, such as temperature and rainfall, in a region over a long period of time. NASA scientists have observed Earth's surface is warming, and many of the warmest years on record have happened in the past 20 years. So two of your vocabulary words are weather and climate. So what does weather mean? Weather means what is it, what's going on outside right now? Well, I know we're in Tarpon Springs, and it is in the upper 70s. Woohoo! No complaints from this chick. It is in the upper 70s. Tomorrow, I think it's going to be in the 80s, so I'm not going to be so woof woofish, but <sighs> it's beautiful outside. That, so that's what weather is. It describes what's going on outside your door right this moment. Climate, on the other hand, um, climate describes weather conditions that are expected in a certain region. Like, let's say, right now, if we were to go to Arizona, it would, we all know Arizona's hot it's dry and it's desert like we would expect that because that's the climate there just like people come to Florida and it's not all just the uh, sun and it's you know blooming flowers it's hot and humid hot and humid almost year-round that's what climate is it's how the climate is determined by observing its weather over a period of years so we know from overall last years, 20, 30 years, 30 years is typically um, when they do their uh, scientists go and research the temperature and rain or precipitation levels because every 30 years they want to measure it. That's what, um, that's how we find out how we're changing 
and unfortunately our temperatures are rising which is not such a great thing so let's see Climate change describes a change in average conditions such as temperature and rainfall in a region over a long period of time. For example, 20,000 years ago, believe it or not, the earth was covered mostly in ice glaciers. Wow. How times have changed, right? The earth's warming has had its effect on many different things, and here's just a few of them. Rising sea levels, shrinking mountain glaciers, which we just talked about, ice melting faster um, than normal through Greenland, Antarctica, and, and the Arctic, um, changes in flower and plants, blooming times. So when it's warmer earlier in the year, then our plants are like, hey, whoa, we got to hurry up. It's, it's spring outside, but it really isn't. But our plants are acting crazy, and they're just going to go start blooming. So... It's been changing over a long period of time, long before humans ever came into the picture. Over the last uh, 150 years, the heat, heat index has been, or the heat has been increasing much more quickly than we ever expected. Many people, including scientists, are concerned about this warming. As Earth climate continues to warm, the intensity and amount of rainfall during storms, such as, hur such as hurricanes, is expected to increase. Droughts are also expected to increase and become more intense with the climate as the climate warms up. Human activities. Who would have thought? Human activities such as burning fuel to power factories, gas for cars and buses, are changing the natural greenhouse. These changes cause the atmosphere to trap more heat than is used to leading to a warmer earth. Did I just slaughter that? I think I did. These changes cause the atmosphere to trap more heat than it is used to, leading to a warmer earth. That sounds so much better. See, I can't even read my own notes. Yes. So when human activities increase, it creates greenhouse gases. Earth warms. This matters because oceans land, air, plants, animals, and energy from the sun all have effect on one another. The combined effects of all these things give us our global climate. In other words, Earth's climate functions like one big connected system. Pretty scary. So weather again describes what's going on outside. It's upper 70s, beautiful day outside. Hopefully you guys can sneak away in a few minutes and get outside. Because I know that's where I'm headed in a little bit. And then climate on the other hand um, describes the conditions that are expected in a region. So, uh, you know, we have something, a season that comes up every year. And because of our rising temperatures, they're saying that it's going to be a very intense year for us hurricane-wise because of the rising temperatures of our water. And actually this past winter, we didn't have a so-called winter. Our temperatures never really went high for any length of time. I mean, it seemed like it. I mean, you know, below 70 for me is like freezing cold outside, but... When I was little growing up here, I remember it being cold for weeks on end where I'd have to wear my hat and my gloves and my jacket. Not like up north, but I mean, it was a lot colder. So over the last 50 years, I'll just go ahead and give it up. Over the last 50 years, I've seen an increase in the temperatures just in our area. And, and I've moved around the world. I've lived in Japan. I've lived, you know, North Florida. Mississippi, mostly in the south, but then where do I go? I'm thinking, oh, let's take a tour. Well, I'm, I had a choice, Germany or Okinawa, and I chose Okinawa, and guess what? It's just like Florida. It is hot. It is humid. They don't have hurricanes. They have tsunamis. I don't know what I was thinking, but I learned a lot.
Yes, I eat sushi too. <laughs> it was a great experience, but I wish I had me with, well, no, I don't wish I would have changed my mind. I liked where I was at. It was fun. It was a lot like home. So when they talked about humidity, I'm like, got that covered. I lived in Florida all my life. But so as a young girl, I have noticed changes. Um, a couple years ago, Fox 13 put out a show about the climate changes here in Florida and, um, or weather changes, I should say. And our weather here is so much warmer now than in what it used to be. And they pointed out something that I, unless you see the map, how they, they go from what it looked like 20 years ago to today, to today you might not understand what I'm saying, but I know some of you have seen those maps where they go, this is what it was 20 years ago, and then they show the aerial uh, pictures of how Tampa has grown and Pinellas County has grown, and it, it's gone from like green to almost white. Well, that white stuff is concrete. It's our highways, our roadways, um, asphalt. It all absorbs the heat. It, it it's driving our temperatures up. The more that we um, populate the area, the more that we build in the area, we're driving, we humans are driving our temperatures higher and higher and higher. It was such a good show. It was such a good segment that they did on Fox 13. I really, I really got a lot out of that. So, um, again, those are those are two of our words today. Again, this week's lesson is on the global climate. I have a lot of really cool stuff I plugged in. Um, if you want to go ahead and get started on your vocab, go ahead and get started on that. I just gave you two, two of your vocab words right there. You can also look them up. Um, and then um, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to talk about pollution and the coastal development and how it's affecting us. You guys have a great evening, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.